In an ideal situation, that drain coming out of the wall will almost align with the sink drain and you will install it by just offsetting the P-trap. But if you remodel your bathroom and drains are offset more than that, let me show you the easiest way to connect them. Welcome to my YouTube channel and let's start by installing the trap adapter on the tailpiece. This is an inch and quarter by inch and half trap adapter. Keep it in the middle of the tailpiece so you can raise or lower it if needed to gain the correct slope and dry fit the P-trap on the drain. Now use the measuring tape to measure the length of the pipe that will fit between the P-trap and trap adapter. Now cut the piece you just measured. Glue the P-trap and trap adapter together using the piece we just cut. Make sure you use correct type of cement. I am using ABS cement as I'm using ABS pipe. Now put the assembled piece back on the tailpiece and snug it with your hand. Because our drain coming out of the wall and sink drain are offset from each other, we need to use a 45 fitting to divert the drain angle towards the sink drain. To do that, dry fit the 45 on the drain pipe to make sure they align. If they don't, you need to adjust the length of the drain pipe coming out of the wall. Length of the drain pipe will depend on how offset both drains are. If they align, glue the 45 back on the drain. And check for slope. You need quarter inch slope per foot on an inch and half drain pipe. Now again align the P-trap with the 45 and measure the piece that will go between them. In my case, it's two and a half inches. Unscrew the 90 from the P-trap and glue the piece we just cut into the 90. Now glue the 90 into the 45. and tight everything together and check for slope. In my case, drain is flat, so I'm going to loosen the slip joint and raise it by quarter inch to have a quarter inch slope on the pipe. That's all for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please hit subscribe and like my video. See you next time.